so for the first question okay the key thing here you need to identify is that the hot drink okay sales volume decreases when the weather temperature increases so this is actually a negative correlation okay for question two okay simply do their lcm and identify their multiple which is two four three four times them all up together then you will get 96 Whereby for question 3, first you need to convert the meter given into cm first, okay? So 1.2 meter is actually 120 cm, whereby 0.9 meter is actually 90 cm, okay? Then simply multiply these three variables together, 120, 90, and 53. Then you will get 572,400 cm cubed. So 1000 cm cube is actually 1 liter. So after the conversion, then we will get 572.4 liter. Whereby for question 4, their common factor here is actually 7 and P. So after you extract 7P from both variables, you will be left with 2P plus 3Q. Question 5, this one is a basic sequences, okay? So their term by term difference is actually negative 5, okay? In order for you to get the zero term, simply add 5 into 13. So your n term sequence for this one is actually 18 minus 5n. So if you happen to be weak at this topic, I will include a link up here, okay? Which you can click and then it will bring you to the explanation video. Question six. Okay, first I drew the arc, okay, which is more than 5.7 cm from B. Okay, so after I construct the curve, then you check the region they wanted you to shape, okay, which is nearer to BC than to AC. So this is where the shaded region locates at, okay. Okay, so 53 degree, okay, this concept is actually from angle from the same arc, okay, there's a starting and ending point, whereby how do I identify the 90 degree, this is actually the diameter, so any angle that is from the diameter will be equivalent to 90 degree. So in order for you to get x, simply take 180 minus 53 minus 90, then you will get the answer of 37. Question 8, okay, key word here, isosceles triangle, which means that the other angle that is unknown is actually x. So 2x plus 44 equals to 180. After you run the calculation, x equals to 68. So for part B, for you to identify the site, simply use the exterior angle formula. 360 divided by sites equals to 24 degree. 
So 24 n equals to 360 n equals to 15. Question 9, pretty straightforward. Find the total ratio and multiply 1000 by the respective ratio. So Ahmed is actually 1000 times 8 over 20, vice versa. So you just repeat the steps for Bato and Chen. Question 10 Okay, so for this type of question, I usually construct the somehow like a graph Okay, to show the current stats Okay, so Pavan is actually X So brother number one save more than Pavan by 4 every month So X plus 4, same goes to brother 2, so another X plus 4 so altogether they have 26. So x plus x plus 4 plus x plus 4 equals to 26. So x will actually be equivalent to 6 after you run the calculation. Okay. For you to write down the equation in x, it's actually 3x plus 8 equals to 26. Question 11, pretty straightforward. This is actually the simultaneous equation. You can just refer to my workings and identify the answer. Question 12, okay, the keyword here is decreasing, okay, and also the last part corrected to nearest 100, okay, so the formula goes by 50,000 times 100% minus 3% to the power of 4. Then you will require to round up the results, okay, then you get 44,300. Question 13, this is directly proportional, so formula goes by x equals to k to the cube root of y. So key in the variables, x equals to 6 and y equals to 8, then you will identify k's value as 3. Then substitute 64 into y's position, then your final results for x is actually 12.
question 14 find the equation of the line okay so y equals to 3x minus 1 this is the original line so gradient of original times gradients of new line equals to negative 1 okay so your gradient of the new line is actually negative 1 over 3 after the shifting Okay, and also they gave you they pass through a point 7 4 so substitute the value in to identify their C which in our case is uh, 6 1 over 3 so you change their denominator into the same then you will get 3 y equals to negative x plus 6 so 3 y plus x equals to 6 is the equation Question 15, okay, uh, this is the matrix topic, so you can just refer to my working, then you'll be able to identify the answer. Question 16, pretty straightforward. Change the proper fraction into improper ones first. Okay, then do the shifting and calculation. And your final answer will actually be 3, 1 over 3. is actually vector okay express qr so qr is actually qp plus ps plus sr okay the keyword here is that pq is 2a and then ps is b and also the last variable pq equals to 2sr so sr value is actually a so negative 2a plus b plus a equals to b minus a as the final answer. Okay, whereby for question b, the keyword here is actually from the ratio given xm to my is actually 3 to 5. So 3 over 8xy it's actually representing xm whereby 5 over 8 xy is actually representing my so the first thing you need to do is to identify xy first so xo plus oy equals to y minus x okay so for you to find 
OM, okay, simply take OX plus XM. So after calculation, you will get X plus 3 over 8 Y minus X. So the final results will actually be 5 over 8 X plus 3 over 8 Y. So question 18, okay, first I find the AC's value first, okay, which is the hypotenuse of the triangle ACB, okay, so after the calculation, you get 3 square root 61. So with the AC's value, we can now use the tangent, okay, as FC is given, and which is the opposite, and AC is the ejection. So tangent inverse, 6 over 3 square root 61, then we get the angle as 14.36. Question 19, okay, uh, the first part distance is actually 381, whereby the second part distance is actually 75 km, whereby for the time taken, it's actually 2 hours and 90 minutes, whereby for the second journey, it's actually 2.5 hours, simply take 75 divided by 30 to identify the hour. So the total distance here will actually be 381 plus 75, whereby for the total time is actually 4, 48 over 60. The reason why I put it this way is that for the formula, it is using the hour as the measurement. So for the minutes, you are required to convert into hour by dividing it by 60. So the average speed is actually 95 km per hour. Question 10, okay, first thing first, okay, you are required to identify since VW and YZ is parallel, so angle VWY is actually 57, so 180 minus 88 minus 57, then you will get 35 as the final results. Okay, so first thing I wrote AC as X plus 7.2. So AQ's value is 7.2 over PQ, okay, which is 8.4, equals to X plus 7.2 over 12.6. You run the calculation, okay, cross multiply them, then you will get 10.8 as the value of AC.
As for question 21, x to the power of 0 is 1, whereby for the second part, 4 plus 3, so m to the power of 7, whereby for the last part, okay, I change 8 and 8 into 2 to the power of 3 first, then multiply 1 over 3 into their respective power. So you will get 2p squared as 21a part 3. Whereby for part B, there's two alternative methods. So the first one is actually logarithm. So the base will actually be 243. And the value is 3 to the power of 2 equals to x. So x value will actually be 2 over 5. Alternatively, you can change 243 into 3 to the power of 5. So 5x equals to 3 to the power of 2. x equals to 2 over 5. So two different methods, but you will get the same answer. So you choose whichever you are more comfortable with. Okay, question 22 is actually a uh, function question. Okay, it's all pretty straightforward. You can just refer to my working and get the final answer. The tricky part here will actually be question C where it involves inverse function. So the methods goes by change fx into y first. So y equals to 5x minus 3. Then shift their place. So x equals to 5y minus 3. So you are now required to find a new y, which goes by y equals to x plus 3 over 5. So new y here is actually the inverse function of f. So thank you for watching. I hope you find this video helpful. If you identify any problem, feel free to leave it down in the comment section. Then I will check and reveal it. Okay, so all the best in your upcoming exam. Thank you.